back at it again. It's, uh, it's the end of the third week here. It's Sunday. And uh, yesterday, we were able to go and fill Alan's last tag and get that monkey off his back, which was good uh, since we had planned on taking Braden this morning. And that way, neither me or Alan have tags to worry about. All we can focus on is Braden getting him a, a turkey. So. Uh, Brayden hadn't had, much, hadn't had much time to hunt this year. He's been working a new job and it's kind of hindered him a little bit. And uh, he's got free today and we're free, so we decided to go with him and share a hunt. Just kind of get together as buddies and, and hang out and, and hopefully kill a turkey. So, uh, Alan, Alan in some preseason scouting and found, has found a turkey and it's in a good spot. And uh, we haven't messed with him yet this year. And, we actually went and checked on him yesterday after Alan killed, and, and he was there, and he gobbled. He hit a call right off, first first set of, set of calls he hit it, and uh, then we just left. So Alan went in there and listened last night, and uh, think, thinks he heard him. He was kind of muffled, and he might have been on the back side of this ridge. Uh, but he's been in this general area since, you know, before season came in, so... Nobody's bumped him, nobody's killed him, and uh, we're gonna go in there and try to kill him this morning. So that's the plan. Uh, not not even close to the same conditions as we had yesterday. Yesterday was 45, crystal clear, cool, um, big moon, and with a with a clear sky today. Still have that big moon, but um, it's it's cloudy. There's rain coming. Uh, rain's supposed to be here at about 10, they're saying, so we've got a few hours, but it is 55 and it is a little bit muggy this morning. Air's thicker than it was yesterday. We'll see, all we can do is go. Uh, we've, got, we've got this bird and then we've got a couple other backup plans that we're gonna, we're gonna see how they play out, but uh, we're just gonna get out, we're just gonna hunt and have a good time and see what we can turn up here with Braden and try to, try to punch him a West Virginia tag, so. Come along with us and let's see if we can't get it done today.
like I checked in.
comes another turkey behind him. What is that? Hand. It's a hand. It's a hand. Two hands. Here she comes. Out there. Two of them. That might be what we need, buddy. Come on, girls. Bring him on up here. Yeah, boy. Let's go.
behind that line of trees. Get him again, bud. Flip. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, I man. I love it. I love every bit of it. Oh. <sighs> what a hunt. Boy, well, it's something else, buddy. <laughs> I figured I better leave me for you. Oh shoot! My gun wouldn't. Sh My gun double shot for some reason. How far was that? Forty, not even. Yeah, shoot. I don't know what happened. <coughs> Dude, I'm telling me to tell you, it's probably the prettiest hunt I've ever filmed. <laughs> I'm 100 percent. I wish they was a dead turkey at the end of it, but I don't care. We won. We beat him. We just didn't have to kill him. He's wearing me out. I think that's why I missed. I can't feel nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm going to use that as my excuse. I can't feel nothing. I thought that was him at first. I thought the jig was going out here. I've never heard him fly well, boys, I'm here to tell you, that is uh, probably the prettiest turkey hunt you'll ever watch with a miss at the end of it. <laughs> I beat him. We beat him. We beat him. Like Braden said, we beat him. Catch and release. Uh, we come up through there like a man there at the end, and we'd watched him for so long at that point. You know how it gets. I mean, you get anxious to pull the trigger, and... Uh, it was a great hunt. Regardless, it was a great hunt. And you'll see the whole thing right there because I'm, it was beautiful. It was a show, show of all shows right there. That's an old turkey. Played the game right. We played it better than him today, all but the shooting. So, it's all right. We got it. It's early, it's seven something now. So, we're going to go out here and try to strike another bird. There's been one goblin out this way. We'll probably walk out this way a little piece and try to strike him and then we'll probably go back and who knows where we'll end up but uh yeah it's, it's been a good one so far i mean we hadn't heard a lot of a lot of goblin but we were within a hundred of this turkey on the roost i mean we sat down at this tree the tree i sat at in the dark just to listen and it ended up being the tree that we called him in on so pretty good pretty good scout now and good job yeah alan knew where this turkey was at and oh, so said one right not, here close boys yeah yeah, we, we couldn't get him to we couldn't get him to crank and Alan said, I'm telling you, there's a turkey close. Alan hit the old hoot stick and he fired off right here below us and it was it was time he to He wouldn't gobble on his own. He wouldn't hit anything and he didn't gobble on his own, but there at the end, man, he was hitting the call good. He liked that sound of that call I was running. Braden got him fired up too. But yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get going. Maybe we'll maybe we'll strike another one here in a minute, so we'll see how it goes.